Hello guys and welcome to a little short redstone tutorial on how to use skulk sensors to determine a certain output, a certain action from the skulk sensors because when skulks are introduced, they came with frequencies. And what are frequencies? Well you can find it down on the Minecraft page on the certain frequencies that skulk sensors uh, give out. So here we have a skulk sensor that is powering this Comparator, but uh, certain actions will power and unpower the skulk sensor. As you can see, I'm walking around. Nothing, nothing's happening. If I throw an item on the ground, nothing's happening. That isn't turning on. <laughs> and then if I jump up and down, nothing's happening. But if I press this button, it turns on. Now, what does that mean? So the skulk sensor takes these frequencies from the comparator and outputs to this redstone dust. The signal strength detected by the comparator is less than or equal to the signal strength detected by this by this hopper. So this hopper is actually 9. Actually sends out a redstone signal strength of 9 and this one sends out a, a redstone signal strength of 10. So when that happens, it makes this dust the subtract mode dust. So when this is 10 and this is 9, this is 10 minus 9, and that makes it 1. So that makes it 1, and then it's get, it gets read by this comparator and sent through this repeater. Now this comparator has to go at the same speed or faster than this repeater, right? So that means that this comparator is one tick, this repeater is one tick, and this is two ticks, which means you can go and send it through, and it will lock the repeater before it even gets fired. Now, for signals that are greater than 9 here, since this is a 9 signal here, if it's 10, it will go through this comparator. And this comparator, if it's just 1, it will output 1 to here, which means that it won't even connect this, so you don't even have to worry about it uh, doing, the, doing the whole shebang here. But if it's more than 1, so they say it's 2, this will just loop back into the repeater and just lock the comparator. So at the right signal, it won't lock the comparator, but the signal can only go through to this block. But any signal above, it will lock the repeater and not let any signal through beforehand. So here's how it goes. I can summon lightning, which is a full 15. And as you can see, it locks it straight away. No power was sent to this block. But for the button, it does. And as you can see, it's not able to trip up this Ritzner repeater and lock the thing. Now here's a little smaller example for this. So on the right side, the power is 14. And this, the power would be 15. Because I could do this as well. Do like this. Be 15. So this creates a power source of 1, and then this comparator reads that 1, and it becomes 1 as well. And this is because it's in subtract mode, like I said. And over here, you can see how, how too much signal is bad for the brain. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's helpful for you if you want to build a skulk sensor that detects a certain comparator, a certain action uh, that you probably saw in like Mumbo or Il Mango's vids. But this is a very simple contraption that you're able to build anywhere in your Minecraft world in order to use for your redstone circuits. This can be used in combination locks, anything like that. But have fun, be creative. Have a good day, good night, good life. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.